That was a genuine scream of fear. Today, we are going to adventure. But not quite yet, because after the mishaps of last episode, I've been digging at the one block, trying to get traders to come with something for lava, and uh, still have not been successful. I really want a bunch of blocks before we go exploring, you know? It is sky block, and there's not exactly terrain I can run over. But I did also build the workings of an iron farm between episodes, and we do need to get villagers and a zombie. I need silk touch still. Oh, that's the thing that happened. All right, let's see. I stashed it here. We got some traders that came through with lapis. So that does mean we can enchant. And we have Silk Touch available. Silk Touch. Okay, we're doing it. I don't have 30 levels. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. We're going to make ourselves a diamond sword. We're ready for diamond gear. We'll put mending on it later. All right, folks. I need 30 levels. And you are going to give them to me. Okay, levels acquired. Let's try this again. Uh, pickaxe, lapis, silk touch, and efficiency three. Nice. And we made the advancement enchanter. Um, oh, I was going to look at the sword and see what I could get on that. Efficiency four axe. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's go grab the sword and also, you know, after I left it over there. Bane of arthropods, absolutely not. So we will take Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 4. Yes, we will take that. All right, let's go grab some books. Oh, yeah, we have we have one villager. We need to get him to the iron farm as fast as possible. We'll do that once it's night. Um, But let's come here. Hi, Mr. Fortune 3. I don't... Wait, I don't need Fortune 3. What am I doing? Um, Mending. That's what I need. All right, we will get some other things to add to these. Oh, ah, I don't have enough iron. We need, to get, we need to get the iron farm going. Oh, goodness. Okay, now that we have silk touch on a pickaxe, we can work with glass, and it won't be a big deal if we need to break something. This is one of those things that actually baffles me, is I don't really understand how mine carts and all that work. That should be a working iron farm. So let's go get the one villager that we have right now. Don't fall off the edge. I don't know why they pathfind like that. It is terrifying to say the least. There you go. So I traded for a bunch of cobblestone from one of the wandering trader dudes. Um, so we have that as a block for starting our exploring anyways. Okay, here's something. We have a couple of items of gold armor that we should take with us when we go to the nether in just a little bit. We are going to switch up our diet for this exploration. So let's toss some beef into a furnace there. See, the thing is, we actually have a lot of diamond, or diamonds in general. I feel like we can afford to just spend some on some armor. Obviously, I don't have level 30, but let's see what we could get on these. Fire protection 3, not bad. Blast protection 4, also not bad. Oh, another acquisition of mine is our melon seeds, which means that we, as soon as we get a farm going for those, will have access to another block for building this house. You know, fire protection isn't bad. Let's do it. And depth strider, interesting. And then what can we get on this? Unbreaking three and maybe protection. All right, well, let's go grab more levels. Last protection four and unbreaking three. Okay. You know what? Not the worst things in the world. <gasps> Ooh, that was an advancement. I always click that. Nom nom nom, cook a steak. Well, 
We sure did cook quite a lot of steak. All right, let's check and see if there's a child yet. No child, what are you two doing up there? Slackers. What, let's do at this point. We'll take like six stacks of slabs. I hate turning all of this into slabs, but it's fine. And we'll take a full durability bow. We can have the carrots as backup snacks. Ah, we're pretty geared up. All right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm gonna need. We'll fight with our axe, I think, if we need to. But, are we ready to do this? <gasps> there we go, and we have a little bit of an obsidian platform. Excellent. All right, we are in, what biome? Crimson forest, oh, crap. <laughs> Um, well, the one good thing is that in a crimson forest, we can get piglins. All right. Now, I guess, let's just head off. What direction are we going? Not that it matters, because I'm going to leave a pretty clear trail. Um, but we're going south. Okay. What is this sound? Are we in a new biome? I don't think we're in a new biome. Oh, we are in the nether wastes. Okay, cool. So we could get a gold farm going? We'd still need, you know, magma blocks. So maybe we need a basalt delta first. All right, we're at the end of that stack. And I think since now we're in nether wastes, we're gonna call that good here. Oh dear. I am terrified of running on a one-wide thing over the void. This is fine. It's all fine. Didn't spot any kind of structures or anything else. All right. So now we'll head off north. This feels another wasty out this way, too. Yep. Okay. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure, because I know in, like, normal Skyblock, they'll have structures and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that's the case in one block. Ooh, it just changed biomes. What's this, then? Warped forest, I think. Yeah, okay. So, Enderman. Could get some sort of Enderman farm going. All right, and that's the end of our blocks. So, we have three biomes right now. We'll head back, but there are a couple of like farms we could make in here pretty easily. Um, a gold farm, obviously, is great. Um, and it's not gonna be big, so we could even do it in this little spot to the north, to be honest. Um, and then we could do an enderman farm. Which could get us Eyes of Ender, which could get us to the end. Well, we need blazes, too. How how would you get blazes if you don't have another fortress? That is the question, isn't it? Alright, let's pop back through. And be careful to not walk off the edge. Okay, cool. Ah! Oh my goodness! That's a... No, 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 no. Uh-uh, 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 uh Um, I've never actually seen one of these in-game. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh my goodness. Will he drop anything for us, though? Woo! Oh my goodness. Okay, we did get a piglin, then. And now he's a zombified piglin with a crossbow. Alright, let's see if we can... <laughs> oh no, we knocked him off! He could have dropped gold for us, too. Ah, oh, well. Whew! Well, we survived a venture into the nether. And you know what I want to do now, is I want to do a little bit of one blocking. And maybe get us, finally, some of the Nileums. <gasps> There's our Nileum! Our warped Nileum, anyways. Oh, now we can get even more colors. 
Okay, so I died in between sessions because I decided to do a little experiment um, by standing on the one block and crouching. Because if you look in the hints and tips section in the advancements, um, where is it? It says, when breaking the block, crouch to avoid falling. But the times that I have fallen through the block have been very specifically when there's a mud block that spawns in. And I think it's because it's like, I think it's actually two, um, two pixels shorter than a normal block. I'm pretty sure it's two. And for some reason, the player seems to glitch through. Um, I don't know if that's a bug or not. Like, mud has been around for a full version release of the game. So I feel like they'd know about that and have fixed it if they didn't want it to happen. So, yeah. Things I noticed by dying. Why, hello, sir. Okay, buckets of pufferfish, cobblestone, and eyes of ender. Okay, we'll get some eyes of ender. I would rather have blaze rods, but you yeah, know, beggars can't be choosers. I will take as many eyes of ender as you will give me. Nine, okay. Good to know. Alrighty. Anything else worth trading for? Always more cobble. Since we don't have lava. At the end of the last session, we traded for a bunch of calcite. So, we may just build ourselves some walls. Let's see if there's a baby villager yet. No. No, there is not. Okay. So, we grab our calcite. We grab our diorite. Um. We grab more diorite. We grab our birch logs. What else have we been using? Um, a little bit of white concrete powder. Oh, there's a creeper spawned there. Ew, gross. Um, we also want to do some more windowy kind of things. All right, we've got ourselves a little bit of scaffolding now. You know, I haven't been in a bed in so long. I'm gonna get phantoms on top of me, and I'm not ready for the phantom achievement yet. And then probably a lantern. Mr. Librarian. Hi, sir. Thank you. <laughs> this Enderman just chilling on top of a composter. Good for him, I guess. There are monsters nearby. I don't think Endermen are monsters. Endermen are cute. Like, they may kill you, but I think that's more a miscommunication than anything. Alright, and that one will be just a little differently styled because of the awkwardness of the moving, leaning, twisting building. Okay, we have the walls up for another floor. That's fantastic. <gasps> no, the child is in the bed. No. Oh, that's not good. I was worried about something like this happening. Scooch your butt. Scooch your butt. All right, well, it's dark. Let's go see. Oh, yes, he has grown up. All right, he's going over to the iron farm now. Okay. Um, bed, bed. Cool, cool. Actually, we'll break this bed since we don't have a trader here right now. And we'll go boop. And break that. Oh no, there's... How is there a... Child. Child, no. Um, what do I do with you? You need to come back. Alright, let's put a bed down for him right here. Okay. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere, and bam. Okay, cool. Crisis averted. I did not realize there was a child. All right. Up we go. All right, well, that's going to be our third villager, which means Iron Farm will be ready to get up and running pretty soon. All right, so now let's go ahead and add some chests and barrels. We should get barrels, too. Okay, and we can't just have a torch on the floor. Like, that's sad. 
All right, we put that there. What kind of planty things can we put in there? We could put a tree or a bamboo. Um, I'm gonna go with mangrove propagule. We actually need to grow mangroves. We haven't done that yet. That's so cute. It's a little sprout. There we go. We get an azalea. Flowering azalea is exactly what I wanted right there. All right, this is looking cute and cozy. And with that, we're going to avoid looking the Enderman in the eye. And we're going to put down a bed for this dude. Get him over to the place. All right, we're about halfway through the night, which means if we're really, if we're really quick, we might also be able to grab ourselves that zombie. And the sun is starting to come up, but it's raining, so I think we can still do this. Okay. So how we want this to go is break that. And then that. And then we get his attention. And then we go far enough away to break his follow. And to hope that he notices the villagers. And goes in after them instead. Okay. He is not going after them. Yet. No, he despawned! No! Hello, sir. Hi. There he is. Let's see if we can't lure him in this way. So now he's, like, in by the rail. How do we do this? Okay, 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 okay. I need to go. I need to go. No! Oh, no, no, no. I shouldn't have hit him. Oh, no. Oh, that was... Ugh. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. No! Uh, 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 no. 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 He's gone. Okay. Oh, dear. Hey, bud. Come here. He probably despawned. Yes, he has. Okay. We're gonna do this yet again. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! No, I'm. Huh? No! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 We've already made this mistake once. You know? Oh no! Oh my gosh! How have I not learned? Okay. I think. I think everybody is gone then. There he is. He's holding something, so he will not despawn. Excellent. No, he just instantly died. Instantly. There's no hat in there, and there's no hat on the ground. So he should have a hat on, hopefully. Hello. Come on. No! No! I... What? They are not fans of him, and not gonna lie, I can't blame them too much. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do. Can do that. And that. And that. And then we hopefully grab the redstone block. We go there. And we go like so. Did we do it? We did! He's in there! Excellent. Oh, that was so much more pain than it should have been. Alright, with that out of the way, let's go roll this villager's trades. Is there a small child? There's not a small child. There will be a small child soon, I'm sure. Okay. Good morning, fellas. All right. 
Are you interested in a trade, fine sir? Oh, yes, he is. All right, what you got? Sweeping edge, oof. It's tempting, but I feel like it's not as important as other things. Depth Strider, absolutely not. Silk Touch is good. Having full access to Silk Touch, we're gonna do that one. And then, <laughs> mending, very expensive mending. Fortune one, oh no, he's terrible. You genuinely have some of the worst trades, my dude. I feel like I should just buy a bunch of Silk Touch off of him and then do away with him. Look away. Yeah, now they're really mad. So we will let them stew for a while. We really need to cutify down here a little bit. For now, maybe let's just plop that there. And that will probably be the next room we work on. Well, no, we need an adventure room. We need an adventure room with uh, the portal and like a cartography table and maybe a map of our area. That would be really cool. So this can be our library and then the next level will be our adventure room and then the next level will be the bedroom. But for now, the bed will stay there because we are making this area cute. We'll put kind of our workstation corner over here. Oh, we should definitely make ourselves a smithing table. Like, we're not actively there yet. I would like to be able to add netherite. Um, and like, I'd like to be able to put armor trim on even now on my, on my armors now that I kind of have some. Put a little shelf there. That can use a shelf too, to be honest. And then we'll do a little bit of splurging and make ourselves a painting. Not sure where we're gonna put it yet. But maybe there. Yeah. Actually, we should move it back one. Put it there. Except I really liked the colors of the first one. There we go. Eventually, we'll put more candles in here too. And eventually, eventually, we will put a spore blossom in way up top. All right, so if we go like that and like that, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. For now, I think this is, this is much more cute and cozy and it will be even cuter and cozier when we have more candles in here. We're gonna head off adventuring. Which direction shall we pick? I think I'm gonna go off the back of the animal island. Unfortunately, out here we don't have the uh, atmosphere color to tell us when we are in a different biome, so we'll just have to stop and check every once in a while. Oh, this is Taiga over here, because that's plains there. There are other biomes in some other spots. Find them. It doesn't say that there are structures or anything like that. If there aren't structures, is there anything we need a new biome for? Now we're in snowy taiga, so we could get snow and ice out here. Oh, I can hear my animals again, yay. I may have just absolutely wasted all of that wood, but you know, it's fine. Now there's two endermen, yay. Like, I, I, I do like endermen, I think they're cute, but... Uh, you make life dangerous, you guys. I love walking in here now. Oh, it's fantastic. You get to see... Ooh. What was that about? Is he mad at me? What the heck is happening? Um, let's grab ourselves a boat, just in case. It kind of sounds like... Oh, interesting. Is he like suffocating? Cause he's not coming after me. Do they get m mad at like blocks? What's happening here? I don't understand. Um, oh, it's, it's nighttime. Let's grab a couple of beds since he doesn't seem to be after me. And let's Oh, 
Oh no, he's after me. He's after me. He's after me. Okay, he's he's in the boat. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know what that was all about. Um, okay. Okay. That was a genuine scream of fear. Uh, mmm. What the heck? Well, with that out of the way, let's see if there is, if there's not anybody in here. Ah. Hello. Nice, nice bath you've got going there. Mind if I, <gasps> he's got some terracotta. We should trade for some terracotta and some nether wart. Um, we don't have any brewing abilities yet, but we should do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want to come with me, sir? We're going to put these in next episode. Now that we've got a good source of glass, we're going to put those in next episode. We've got a little bit of terracotta. That's nice. That's nice. We can do stuff with that. We should plant right there. Then we'll just have a little itty bit. And we don't have we don't have crimson wood yet, but we'll get a wood farm up for those next episode too. And then that can have the the crimson trapdoors. Okay, I have been talking about it for like two episodes now, three episodes, I don't even know anymore. Uh, so we're finally going to build a pumpkin farm and a melon farm. We're just going to get our mine carts going, nice. And now, we get to hoe these guys. And plant these. And we don't have enough seeds yet, but we'll get there. Alrighty, and then we just let them grow. Oh, you know what we need to do though, because I'm me. We absolutely have to have um, our note blocks tuned to a chord. And also because I'm me, it's going to be a minor chord. I promised it and we did it today. So now we have a pumpkin and melon farm that isn't fully planted, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Are you guys still mad at me? No, we're, we're back to normal, good, good. Well, let's take a quick little look at our world because it is expanding. Look at our house. Our house is actually growing and like looking like a building, a structure. <gasps> That's so cool. I'm glad we finally have a source of iron, even if it is a little slow and buggy. It definitely feels like we've entered an industrial age. I also love how the interior is coming together. Oh my goodness, it makes me so happy. This world gets more busy and exciting every episode, so if you enjoyed this one, do go ahead and give it a like. Let's not walk into the pond. And and if you're new around here and haven't joined the Chaos Coven yet, consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!